Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Cleveland Guardians going up against the Kansas City Royals. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton, singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat, Salvador Perez. He, of course, leads their team at home runs. Yeah, Boog, he's been such a force at the plate, and it seems like every time he connects, the ball is traveling out of the ballpark. So when you have such a threat like that, other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation. About to get started here. Starting on the mound in this one, Ryan Mettler. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boo, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. He's got it, and there's one down. Let's take a look at Terry Francona's lineup for the Guardians. The home run, a big part of the equation when it comes to this offense, singing. They're one of the better clubs in the league in terms of putting runs up via the homer. Yeah, and that makes them even more dangerous because they're going to get their hits, but they're also going to get those home runs and have runners on base, which is multiple runs out of one swing. So, yeah, you really have to try to manage a team like this and keep them contained. You can't give up extra outs, whether that be via an error or a walk. Hit hard, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Solid swing from That's start to end. Right. On time with everything. Right. Really That's good right. balance. Nice extension. Right. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. So digging in, Patrick Connolly. Second in the American League in hitting. That's hard hit in the line. O'Neal racing makes the catch. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Here's Shohei Otani. Right now, the leading RBI man in the American League. He's been huge this season. The 1 1. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. pitch and yeah, the one two misses to even the count Rosario the runner at first with two gone smash to the left side sends it to Walsh and they get Otani for the out and that'll do it. One hit, one left. And now the Royals will get their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Back here at Kauffman Stadium. And today's starter, Shohei Otani. So dominant in his last start. Double-digit strikeouts. It's going to be interesting today to see if he's able to have command of his secondary pitches the way he did last time out. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Tyler O'Neill. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris. If, oh, now this one's high and deep. Way right back there, on its way, gone. Tyler O'Neill sends it out. Home run number 20 on the year, and the Royals strike first. It's 1-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over-anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. The 1-1. One, one. There's the strike. 
the one two swing and a miss struck him out he's really good hitting the baseball the other way so credit right. the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch clearly he had him fooled now here's Bobby Witt Jr. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Slow roller to third. Throws across the diamond, and Witt is out. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Jared Walsh. And Boog, he's their team leader in home runs, so you know the pitchers on that other side, man. They took a lot of time preparing for him in that pregame meeting. You know, he's got a lot of pop, and it's real pop. It's not fluky at all. He can absolutely change the outlook of a game very quickly, so watch out when he steps in. All right, Singy, you know I'm a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. Ball. It was the most strikes thrown with Ball less count. than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. Struck him out looking. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Back after this on the show. Top of the second. So here's Murphy now. The catch at number four, Tom Murphy. And now it's one and two. On the ground, right side. To first, and quickly one away in the second. That is it. The left fielder. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. And that one lifted in the air center field. O'Neill drifts towards it. He's got it. Two down. That is the right field. Oscar, Oscar Gonzalez digs in for the Guardians. Two down, nobody on. Misses outside and a count two and one. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Makes the grab and that's the inning. The Guardians go down in order. They're down 1 0. Welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Jared Walsh. The first baseman. Singy Shohei Otani has been as advertised. Rookie of the year in 18, MVP in 21. He has impacted the game in a major way. And then, of course, he was on the cover of MLB The Show in 2022. Well, he's doing something that we've never seen done before and just absolutely phenomenal that he can be that dominant on the mound and be one of the top hitters in the game. And just watching that, it, it, it's got to take your breath away a little bit if you're a manager or a teammate to see this actually happening before your eyes. On at first, nobody out. The 2-2 two -two gets a check swing. Now an appeal to third. No swing. Eric Summers go with the call. Three and two now. Grounder might be two. Arias toss to second. How about that double play? The right field. Matt. Now batting Max Kepler. The 2 1. Swing and a miss as he was late. Oh, 
Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. On to the third inning. Here's Josh Bell. The first base is number 55. Josh Bell. The 1-1 one -one is upstairs. Two and one. Late with the swing there. Two, two. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Bell puts it in the air out towards left center. One away. That is done. The third base. So in now for Cleveland, Gabriel Arias. The wind and the pitch. The two on is high. Hard hit, right side. In plenty of time to first, and that quickly, two away. The center field, number six, Jason Dominguez. So the lineup flips over. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Jason Dominguez. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Puts it in the air out towards left center. O'Neill drifts towards it. Drops into the glove. And that's the inning. Guardians fail to score. They trail here 1-0. When I'm waking, I feel so dangerous when I become free. Back here in Kansas City and stepping in, the rookie left fielder, number 91. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Dominguez puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one away. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync, and the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. And yeah, next up for the Royals, Quincy McAfee. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. One down, base is empty. Just missed. Now all leave it up. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, now sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Tyler. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Oh, Homer to lead off the ball game. Check swing. He went. Yeah, the count one and two. And another ball. In the air, right field. Gonzalez makes the play. That is the inning. Royals go down one, two, three, but they're on top, one nothing. Oh, 
and welcome back. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. The MO for him is contact. The guy who's going to deliver average, not a ton of power. He's looking to hit a line drive somewhere. Y'all, that's why it's a team. And when you look at a lineup, he's a great two-hole hitter or a guy that you could put at the bottom to help turn that lineup over to have some momentum for your top hitters coming up to the plate. That one off the mark, all three. Now in this three-ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Out towards left center, O'Neal getting an angle on it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. One up, one down. Now that Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Patrick Connolly. This guy with big time power and an elite defender. The 1-1. One, one. That one hammered left field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. And a pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Number 91 settles underneath it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the Guardians there, and it remains 1-0. Back here at the ballpark, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you, and leading off the bottom of the fourth, Michael Massey. Next offering is foul back. Well, these Royals showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. I well, love no to see guys compete, seven. and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity, and it is hard to catch up to. Right-hander kicks deals. Yeah. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Fly ball to right. Gonzalez trying to get there. He's got it, and there's two away. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Went down on strikes his first time through. Kicks and fires. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Next pitch misses inside. The count now two and two. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Royals bats are quiet there. They lead it one to nothing. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's Tom Murphy. The catcher, number one. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. 0 for 1 with a flyout. 
The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone cold take. Oscar. One gone runner at first. Gonzalez. Oscar Gonzalez digs in for the Guardians. He's over one. Right. Goes down looking. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. Josh Bell at the plate now. Flied out his first time. 1-1 one, one now. Swings through that one, one out in front that time. Quad off of first with two away. The one two swing and a line drive base hit out of the center field just kind of slice that one into center back Come against back. the wall with two strikes but found a way you often hear the phrase short to it long through it and that's a great example of it right there got the barrel in the hitting zone early squared it up with the well-timed swing and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. First and second, two down. This one in the air right field. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Guardians strand a couple. They still trail 1-0. here at Kaufman Stadium we head to the bottom of the fifth and now the first baseman Jared Walsh in the air right side Gonzalez moves under this one and out number one on the grab the batter number six Drew Waters stands in he hit into a double play his first time up well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. At the belt and fires. And he takes a strike. That one drifts inside. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, oh, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the I'm video of that boy, pitch, boy. he's going to want to punch no himself. Way. That slider had yeah. hit me ridden all yeah. over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Hard on the ground to first. Bell takes it to the bag. Royals set down in order. KC down in order. They lead it 1 0. Top of the sixth inning. And now the center fielder, Jason Dominguez. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give oh, one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. 
just off the outside edge. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And the pitch. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. That's got to feel good. His 36th home run of the season. It's 1-1. are taught to keep the ball down so that you don't get hurt but unfortunately on that one he made a pretty good pitch in terms of location but it was just a better swing and the Royals manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make the move Ryan Mettler won't go any further and a pretty decent effort out of him tie ball game new arm out of the pen when we get back so the Royals bring on a new arm, Bryce Jarvis. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. job of finishing the hitter off right there long side command fastball firm to the outside corner I'll tell you what very difficult to do anything with that pitch even if you do swing Righty delivers. Oh. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Ben Kuderna up and throwing. Post. The hard throwing right hander up as well. And a pitch. Look out! And it hit him. Well, the one positive if you're out there on the mound, it's knowing that you can still get yeah, out of this out. inning with but one pitch. Can't let that mistake snowball here. Get that ground ball, get out of the inning with a double play. Next offering upstairs. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Left hand hitter waits. On the ground, could be two. Sends it to Walsh. And they get Otani for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Stepping up for the Guardians, Tom Murphy. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Terry Francona bringing a bat off the bench. Alex Verdugo. Big spot for him here. The pitch. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. Around third. He'll score easily. It's 2-1. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. <laughs> 
Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. Cleveland up around looking for more. Liner, base hit. Verdugo on his horse and around third. He will score, and they lead by two. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Two outs, runner at first. Oscar Gonzalez now at the plate. Ball to strike. Now a drag bunt, third base side. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. So two on with two away. And now the switch hitting first baseman Josh Bell. Bunts it in the air. Tosses to first, and that is that. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. Guardians three, and the Royals one. You're now into the ball game on defense, Bo Naylor. He takes over behind the plate. Now, Number 23. Welcome back. Uh, Digging in. Number 91. Leading up for the Royals. The left field. Here's a 1-1. The other way. Sends it to first. And a quick out number one. Now batting. Third base. Quincy McAfee steps in for the Royals. Struck out swinging his first time. In there. And so now one and two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Tyler. Oh, and now, Tyler O'Neill. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. And one and two. One and two. Righty to the plate. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. Royals go down 1-2-3. Score holds. It's 3-1. Pitching change here. Ben Kuderna. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Gabriel Arias digs in for the Guardians. The line of the pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information. But the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Ripped on the ground a second. Sends it to Walsh and two away to start the seven. The batter number one, second base is Ahmed Rosario. Ahmed Rosario will hit next. Right-handed reliever. 
fought off foul. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. The bat at number eight. Patrick Connolly digs in for the Guardians. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. Rosario on the move. Pitch misses in. Bro, save. That's a stolen base. Two outs is a great time to try to steal second, especially when you have a guy with some wheels on first. Defense probably knew it was coming, but figured we better focus on trying to get this hitter out. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. Clearly they didn't want to mess with them right there, so I think it makes sense to play the numbers game in this spot. First and second, two down. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Cruising on the mound right now, but a dangerous hitter here in this spot. A guy with some slug to him. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Next offering way upstairs. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Two outs. Here's a high fly ball out to center. O'Neill drifts towards it, brings it in for the third out. Guardians strand a couple, and the score stays three to one. Set for the last half of the seventh, and to the play for Kansas City, Michael Massey. And the right-hander deals, and that's down and away. Well, these Royals just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Two and two's the count. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strike out of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a two-bagger. All over that one right there. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Man at second with one away. Salvador Perez, the next to hit. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Headed for the plate. The throw home. In comes the run from second. And it's a one-run game. Well done. Drives in the run. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. One down. Runner at first. Jared Walsh getting ready to hit. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Otani will depart, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So Cleveland brings on a new reliever, Sam Henches. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Perez, at first, one gone. Slow ground ball to the right side. 
The throw to second is offline. They get him, but it was pretty close. Drew Waters digs in now. And things could change quickly here with one swing. So the tying run at second. Foul ball there. Two-two now. In the dirt, blocked. And the runner stays where he is. Runner leads away at second. And a swing and a miss. Good job at damage control right there. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch. Did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Carlos Hernandez. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Well, one run game. Bo Naylor at the plate now, getting his first appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench defensively. Swung on, popped up, left side. Makes the grab, one down. Now that left field, Steven Kwan. And up next for Cleveland, Steven Kwan. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Bringing the cheese on that one. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Now bad. Right fielder. So man aboard. Now it's the right fielder, Oscar Gonzalez. Here comes a pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. O'Neill drifts towards it. Two away down. The first base is number 55, Josh Bell. Josh Bell digs in for the Guardians. Well, both sides equally as strong, so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other oh. side of the plate. Off the mark oh. there. And now three balls three and a strike. Gabriel Arias next to bat for Cleveland. The 3 1. There's yeah. a strike. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused oh, yeah. on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That ends the frame. Guardians leave one. And it remains a 3 2 ball game. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Clay Holmes. And we all know about his slider. It's just now filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Now, a pitch hitter coming on for the Royals, MJ Melendez. The tying run at the plate. Yeah. And it's filled up. Got him swinging for the K. Some high cheese for strike three. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. 
So up now for Kansas City, number 91. The 1-1. One -one. That one the other way, and it's caught for the out. Next up for the Royals, Quincy McAfee. The pitch. And a ground ball to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Royals. They trail it 3 2. Staying in the game on defense, MJ Melendez. He'll be the new right fielder after entering as a pinch hitter. Now Matt Barnes takes over. Well, he's been a bit of a wild card out there in terms of throwing strikes. He's definitely struggled with free passes this year. And now it's going to be Gabriel Arias. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Can't connect on the third ball, struck him out. Well, that's a third ball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. One run game here in the top of the ninth. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Activity in the bullpen. Nick Wickren getting loose out there. And that's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. The batter number one. Man at first, Ahmed Rosario digs in for the Guardians. That one in for a strike, two and two. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Started to swing, held up. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Barnes checks over to first, and he's back. And the righty deals. Swings and misses. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And now Patrick Connolly. Dominguez off of first with two away. Rip to third. Out number three. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one left. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, do up. Guardians three and the Royals two. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Emmanuel Classe. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. So digging in, Tyler O'Neill. Trying to keep good speed off the bases.
One and two now. And oh. just misses with that one. Two and two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. The 2-2 two -two now. That's out to center field. Dominguez settles under this one. Puts it away for the out. That's a big first out right there, and that changes things. Yeah, you can kind of see how just the hope and optimism is shrunk a little bit, but they got a couple more outs to work with. They got to find a way to get a runner on and get one around the bases. Check swing, went around. One and two. In the air, center field. Brings it in, two down. The batter number seven. Shortstop. And to the play for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr., known for his late inning heroics. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. 3-2 now. Just amazing to me how many closers and back-end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Payoff pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And the tying run is on base. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Throw! Save! Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Try to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. So now with one swing, this guy could end it. This one high in the air to left center. And that'll do it. The Guardians take the first two games of this series on the road. That looked like the pitcher was getting into a little trouble there, but quickly brought out a pitch that isn't what most hitters are looking for with that great velocity, but it was really good movement on the changeup and a nice win today. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.